As COP26 opens this week, we're considering what this means for procurement and supply chain. The challenge is clear and the science is clear. We need to eliminate the 52 tons of global greenhouse gases that we emit to net zero by 2050. We need to achieve half of this by 2030 if we are to avoid what will un almost uncertainly be a global catastrophe. So what can we expect? Well, we can expect global leaders to acknowledge that they have fallen short of the targets that were set at the 2016 Paris Climate Conference. We can also expect that there's a renewed action to commit towards achieving tighter targets as we move forward. So how does that translate to procurement and supply chain? Well, quite simply, we're going to be faced with enormous challenges to consider how we reduce or eliminate the emissions within our supply base. How do we do this? There's a lot of hot air out there about the need to do it, and we recognize globally the need to do it, but actually doing it is our biggest challenge. And this begins by having good tracking and reporting, being able to quantify the sorts of emissions that we have in our supply base. And that gives us the kind of muscle we need to then develop a program that's based on action. And action here isn't gonna be straightforward. Get ready for some radical changes that drive changes to what we buy, who we buy from, and the supply chains. And procurement's role will be to drive those changes based on the information we understand. But we can do this by prioritizing the key areas that are the biggest emitters within the supply base. Get ready for a revolution. Procurement is going to be leading a big change here, and it's going to be down to us to lead how we transform our supply chains to reduce and eliminate our emissions moving forward. Mm -hmm.